This is Brian from CarverBanders.com and uh, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I assemble the Carver Banjos DIY kit. So first, um, things you're going to need. You're going to need some wood glue and a hammer. Um, you can sand and stain and paint this kit to your liking or you can just assemble it as is, all natural. I'm going to add a coat of Minwax Poly Shades Honey Gloss varnish to this kit. So I'm going to start off with that. Show that. And uh, I've got a little bit of sandpaper here. This is 150 grit. That's all you need. You don't need to get crazy with the sanding as it comes pre-sanded. Alright, okay, so first we need to assemble the neck. It's very simple. You're going to need to glue the dowels and insert them into the holes here. Make sure you use plenty of glue. There you go. The dowel is just uh, flying right up in the holes there and you pop it in. I recommend using some type of clamp as it dries. You can just stack some books on it if you don't have any clamps. There, so we'll set that aside to dry for about 20 minutes and we will get started on staining the pot. Alright, so here's the pot. I've got some 150 grit sandpaper and I'm going to go over this and just get anything that uh, has been missed. So, any little splitters. Smooth it out there. Okay, it looks pretty good. It's ready to stain. I don't provide the stain. You can stain it any color you want yourself, or you can paint it, or varnish it, do whatever you want. I'm going to add this stain here. I have a paintbrush. I should use. Just trying to do an even coat here. When this dries, I'm going to put a second coat on. I think this uh, perch ply takes stain pretty well. Alright, to smooth it all out with the grain, so you don't see that brush strokes in it. And I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. Alright, this neck has uh, had enough time to dry the glue. So, again, yeah, I'm just going to go over this with 150 grit sandpaper, get all the rough spots out. The kit comes pre sanded, so there's not a whole lot that you need to do. If you're going to stain or paint this, be careful not to get too much into the peg holes because that will make it difficult to put the pegs in. Sometimes I make this a little harder myself, just trying to get it all done in one sitting, but it might be a lot easier for you to just uh, stain one side, let it dry, and then stain the next side. Alright, got the stain all on. I'm going to let this dry 
And in the next video, I will show you how to tack the skin onto the pot.